Complex, I don't know why the f you saying f me for. Um, for real. Um, that ass, bro. Um, I don't, I don't know what I did, but do to deserve that, bro. What did they do to Chris? But for y'all to like, bro, I was getting DMs from. I was getting DMs from people I never, uh, never met before. Say, call me words I've never been called before, and you know I don't. Yeah, I don't, I wait, don't, wait, 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 wait. They did not do what I think they did. With that, bro. Feel me? Um, I don't, I don't want to be called. Did they get the wrong Chris? Complex posted the wrong Chris for those 17-year-old minor messages? Things I never did or never done. It's like that, bro. The, th the reason why I'm like, hey, bro, it wasn't even a tweet, is the article, bro. How, how, how the fuck did y'all miss so much, his face bro? Too. They put his face on the allegation. There's an article. Nah. Look, when I search Chris Next Door, bro, when I search Chris Next Door for the news, Oh my god, what the fuck? And it took them over 24 hours to take it down. I don't know how it will feel. You see all my picture is still there? I don't know how I will feel. Bro, th this is the craziest thing because the first... He didn't even type nothing else in. He just put his name in the you in in the in the search result, and this is the first story that comes up. I would be so high. I would sue. I would sue. I would sue. I would sue. These niggas cannot get away with it. Home complex. Yes. That is fucking yeah. insane. You took down a tweet. Down. You, yeah. Yes. Yes. You took down a article if you yo if you didn't have the information bro if you didn't have the information why the fuck you didn't just ask fear buck why you ask a domains domain on one of them clip pages he bro? has to what? sue because there are niggas that will look at that and run with it and not look at any other info and now he has that on his name i don't you know when you are a smaller like he obviously is obviously Chris is a part of like a big a big collective a big team but when you are like an individual within that team and this is people's first introduction to you and they don't know that much about you outside of the organization that you represent or that you are within that is so damaging to you if you ever wanted to branch off and do your own thing solo career solo anything is damaging to the brand that you represent is damaging to new uh, potential sponsors or new companies or businesses that want to work with you like how how you how you don't think about the reputation of the person that you might be tarnishing or who they're connected to in defense of this idea that i need to be fast rather than accurate because that's what the new journalism is that is just so crazy to me i know the editor or whoever put the the article up has to be fired but like what further ramifications or repercussions does he face from the company that he used to work for and i know the company got to get sued complex is notorious i feel like for getting shit like this wrong wrong in a more subtle way slice wins with a big 10 gift that i appreciate you but this is actually fucking insane we're, we're... like how do you go forward like he's not that's fucked up because chris is a nice chris is clearly like he's a nice guy all the information right there, like that's bro. That's fucked up. All you had to do was the nigga. From what I be seeing, the nigga be minding his business. It took thirty seconds, bro. It took thirty seconds, bro. And that's what it took thirty seconds, bro. Cause this is a crazy headline, bro. And I'm not gonna talk about the Chris situation, bro. I, that, bro, I, you know, he's my roommate. At one point, you feel me? Um, you feel me? I don't want to talk about that situation, but this is crazy, bro. This headline is crazy, bro. Bro, Kaisen that breaks down. Bro, this, this, this complex. This means you don't even know me, bro. You calling me the f cameraman? I'm not Chris V. I'm Chris D. I'm Chris Dimbo. My, I'm Chris D. 
this is also a very important subject because you have a lot of people that are covering news topics, uh, influencers that they're not familiar with because they need a post for that day or because they need an article for for the moment. A placeholder because there's nothing happening. Like, why why don't why not write some shit that you're genuinely interested in? Because clearly you don't know what you're talking about. I am literally Chris D. I'm Chris D. You don't know who I am. I was never the cameraman. I edited at one point, bro. Me, bro, you, you what the f is you doing, bro? Alright, then next, bro, it, it's like you continue to put like you continue to put shit in there bro nah bro bro like hey chris v aka chris next door bro bro that's crazy as f like my, bro imagine waking up for some shit you ain't do bro you just wake up just because your, your name is the same bro like that's just fucked up bro i'm not gonna and it's fucked up because like it literally it don't it's not like it requires extensive research to figure out the information or who the text messages were in relation to that literally would take you like a couple clicks on a site as inaccurate as twitter that would be like a two second twitter search uh, bro. like that's digital footprint shit bro like that can ruin, that can ruin brand deals. That can ruin, that can ruin partnerships. That can ruin opportunities, bro. Look at my fucking bed in the back, nigga. I'm home, bro. I need the opportunities complex. My fucking bed is right there. That fucking bed is right there. This is where I fucking sleep. That's where I fucking sleep. That's where I fucking sleep, complex. Yes, yes, I need the opportunities. So please don't fuck it up for me. What the fuck? Please don't fuck it up for me, bro. I dead eyes, bro. This nigga's crazy. I didn't peep this. Where is he? Is he in like a mechanic car garage? Hey, bro. And it's like it took out mad long to take down an article. It took out. How did you even find an outlet in here? Twelve hours, bro. It took out twelve hours to take the article down. Did you it, watch the it, new Mr. Beast video yet? Nah, I got it opened up though. Y'all didn't take it down until I replied under the tweet, bro. That's like. Oh, that's that's weird, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, and these niggas continue, bro. These niggas continue, bro. Like, bro, Kyle already saying you don't want to do shit with y'all niggas no more, bro. I know, hey, I know y'all wasn't probably going, y'all probably wasn't gonna do shit with me. I, I, let's be real, y'all got called me the cameraman. Um, but like, it's like for real, bro. It's like it's crazy. But look, man, um, complex. Uh, we do have the lawyers looking over shit. Shit will be dealt with. Um, shit will be fucking dealt with. Uh, for real. Um, like that ass. Uh, it's a, it's a, I said it's like, bro. That's it's not even. Uh, it's not even. Uh, just uh, a defamation of character. It's like, it's libel. It's a, that's the type of defamation it is. It's li It's libel. So, bro, we gonna talk. We gonna figure shit out, bro. Um, please don't try to like ruin my digital footprint, bro. Please, bro. I, I'm, I, I love, I, you know, you feel me? I, I was out the way chilling, bro. I wonder how you'd calculate the damages that they'd be required to, you know what I'm saying, to fix and pay for. I wonder what the calculations would be for this. I was out the way chilling. And I just wake up and see Complex saying, why, fuck me. Why you saying fuck me for it, bro? Real shit, bro. Uh, shit, shit, shit would be handled, bro. Like, I don't know why the fuck it took y'all so long, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know why it took y'all so long to pay attention. Just to, it, it took y'all so long to take that shit down, bro. And y'all niggas couldn't look. Y'all couldn't ask a clipping page what the fuck the research, bro. Find a writer, bro. If you don't know, if, if I, pack, tell the writer pack his bags, bro. Go home, bro. What if the nigga not fired? That'd be crazy. Go home, bro. Go go somewhere else, bro. You like I don't know, I don't know if you was in school for the shit, but go go home, bro. Just go home. Take a break. Take a chill pill. Um, this this enjoy, maybe writing is not your thing. Bro. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Change professions. Just just I don't know. Find some other shit to uh, focus on, bro. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, bro. But yeah, that's terrible journalism, bro. That's bad. That's bad. Like you, you shouldn't have a you shouldn't have a company that big and and, and, and fucking have. I'll costly fuck. That's a costly mistake, bro. That's a, that's crazy, bro.
Um, but what? Um, what's uh? Where the fuck you at? I'm under a bridge, bro. <laughs> bro, did I find what I can fucking find, bro? We gonna be done talking about complex, uh, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I. I I I feel I feel disgusted with that shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, I that's like that's that's probably top. That's like the worst thing you could call somebody, bro. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything worse than being connected to something like that. That might be the most insane allegation, uh, list of charges that you could throw at any person. Period is is being uh, being like some type of predator or some type of pedo. That's actually insane. It ain't like a simple mistake where we like, oh, we think that this person might have assaulted X, Y, Z, you know what I'm saying? Like on the street or something like that. They threw fisticuffs outside of a fucking bar. Like, nah, this is, you you like kids, nigga? Nah, bro, that's actually insane. What is this? And now I had to be dumbass complex, my nigga. Complex, you are so fucking, yo, the writers at complex, let me say something real quick. I don't know what the fuck y'all- Okay, wait, why? Why is he dressed like this? Dr. Someone that is also in his 20s and resides in Detroit. I do look up to you as an inspiration <coughs> slash motivation. Can I have your thoughts on this vid called The Dilemma in Your 20s? Oh yeah, I forgot to get back to you for the last 24. I have it, I think I had it pulled up. I forgot about it though. I'm gonna I'm watch it in a second. I got going on. I don't know what y'all got going on. Complex. He's playing Bloodborne? How far in is he? Oh, that's fire. Y'all was the first ones to do my, my, my magazine. Let me know when a nigga play Sekiro. Y'all was the first one to have me involved with a lot of shit with Complex. He's trying that to bring awareness to Bloodborne so we get a remake. That's fire, and I would, I would like a remake or a sequel, but <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, man. If this would motivate niggas to drop, like... A DLC potentially maybe for Sekiro when a nigga play that, then like let me know, like call me up. But you know, this is just as this is just as good too. Niggas are the top when it comes to interviews. Y'all niggas do sneaker shopping videos, the most popular shits on the internet. Y'all niggas do everything collabing from artists, uh 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 uh, uh athletes, fucking content creators, whatever it is. Yeah, I had the nerve to put out a false article about one of the AMP members, and all you had to do was do 30 seconds of research. Hey, bro, listen to me. Chris Next Door ain't do shit. He's not part of any situations. He ain't do shit. He's one of the quietest. When you talk about Chris Next Door, he's literally minding his business. He don't do shit. He has yet to even come on y'all platform. He has yet to even do a lot of shits within his personal lane, my nigga. So for y'all niggas to do that is absolutely crazy. And I know we have a lot of shit that we were supposed to do in the future, Complex. There's a lot of shit that y'all want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that tie right there, bro. You Just should. The dumbass nigga. You should. Who wrote an article? Nothing else to do in that. Fucked up. And him being my man's, bro. I'm not working with you. I'm not. I ain't doing shit with complex until further notice. That was nigga. crazy. That shit was ridiculous, bro. It just takes five seconds of fucking research, my nigga. Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, that's so fucked up. Cause when you search up his name, it's a case that you you search up. Chris Next Door's name now, it's a possibility that somebody who doesn't know shit could just run across that article. Just because you're dumbass ain't wanna do no fucking research, bro. Y'all niggas, niggas got shit fucked up, bro. Y'all just be doing shit That's just to crazy. put shit out. Actually put some time and care into the shit y'all put out, my nigga. Like, Chris Next Door, I'm sorry you had to go through that shit, bro. That shit fucked me up. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Chris Next Door, I apologize for you to go through that. Complex, don't call my phone. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. And the thing is, it's like, that shit's like, that shit is so normal. It's a lot of people that don't even know their information has been uh, misconstrued or, or, or put out in a certain light that isn't fully accurate because they don't go and check or they're just not even large enough to be uh, in the mix. And some people are and nobody cares enough about the misinformation to correct it. You know what I'm saying? This is just one of those cases where the allegation is so egregiously wrong and the person that's affected by it is a part of a larger conglomerate as well um, that you have to make a, a correction or some type of fix. But a lot of people, this shit just goes under the radar. Just nobody will notice, even though it could be wrong.
they get this shit wrong all the time. Not just complex. It could be any uh, major publication. It's crazy. They've made people look insane just writing a music review. It's crazy. It's crazy they have someone in the company who doesn't do the right research before ruining an innocent man's oh. life. Oh, not someone. Multiple someones. And even if you don't necessarily get information wrong, you can misinterpret something so poorly and still be on the docket like of writers i saw that one dude i forgot his fucking name the one who wrote the the article about uh he 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 wrote a synopsis of little babies uh 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 it's i forgot the name of the song oh i forgot the name of the song it's bigger than black and white whatever that track was and the nigga said what he said in sometime in like 2020 2021 maybe he had probably the most wildest and inaccurate synopsis or view of that record I think I've ever heard in my life. And it was published on their top list for that year. Like everything was completely fine. They be saying some bullshit like on a really regular, really regular basis. Bigger picture. That was the name of it. They be saying it all the time. It's not just complex, but I just it was just another example. What was the nigga name, bro? Angel D. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God, bro. I'm not going to go find that. I'm not going to go find that so I can get uh, annoyed again.